एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर एट फोकल लेंथ ऑफ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस लेट अस डिटरमाइन फोकल लेंथ ऑफ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस बाय प्लॉटिंग अ ग्राफ ऑफ यू वर्सेस वी सो दिस इज द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप सोर्स ऑफ लाइट एंड हियर इज द स्लिट वी कैन कॉल इट एज ऑब्जेक्ट वी आर यूजिंग कॉन्वेक्स लेंस सो दिस कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज प्लेस्ड इन लेंस स्टैंड एंड दिस इज द स्क्रीन मीटर स्केल वी हैव टेकन अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस we have calculated its rough focal length or theoretical focal length which is equal to 10 cm now we have to do the experiment so after doing this experiment the answer should be equivalent to 10 cm this is the experimental setup so first we have to take object distance which is denoted by u object distance is distance between optic center of convex lens to the object from the corner of this source and exactly at the center of this stand we have to take this is the value of u then light illuminate from this source falls on the convex lens after two times refraction all the light radiations are converging and we can get a real and inverted image on the screen so here we can measure v value v represents image distance image distance is distance between optic center of convex lens to the screen so this is v and here it is u by knowing the value of u and v we can calculate focal length of convex lens we know that of convex lens is 10 cm so always remember we are going to take object distance between f and to f its f value is 10 2f means 20 so between 10 to 20 cm we can take any numbers so we have to take at least five readings because we are going to plot the graph so now i am going to take five trials in the first table object distance u in cm so we have to take between 10 to 20 let us start with the 12 cm for the first trial 14 16 18 20 so in this way we have to take at least five trials because we are going to plot the graph of u versus v so for the first trial we have to set for 12 cm observe the experimental apparatus so now i am going to take u value as 12 cm just move this lens stand object distance is from optic center to the object now it is exactly 12 cm now observe the screen so we have to move the screen until we get clear image this image is real and inverted now i am going to set this image now we can note down image distance so we got real and inverted image this image is very clear you can observe horizontal and vertical lines of the object should be very clear now i am going to measure image distance you can observe image distance between screen and optic center of convex lens now it is exactly 53 cm for the first trial u is 12 cm we got v value as 53 the same procedure we can follow for remaining four trials you can observe as u value go on increases v value go on decreases now for the second trial i am going to take u as 14 14 cm now i am going to set the screen until we get clear image now i am go on moving this screen to get clear image so now v value is 32 cm u is 14 v value is 32 cm so this procedure we can continue for remaining three trials for the second trial we got v value as 32 third trial we have to keep u as 16 cm so for that v value is 27 for 18 cm v value we got 23 for last trial 20 cm v value becomes 21 so the same procedure we can follow for all the trials now we can plot a graph of u versus v so this is the nature of graph we have to draw or plot a graph of u versus v object distance is along negative x axis 
v value is along positive y axis let us draw the graph observe the graph here so we have taken along x axis object distance u along y axis image distance v so i have taken for every two unit i have written 10 20 30 40 difference is 10 for two unit there is 10 cm and for x axis for two unit i have written let us start with 10 12 14 16 difference is 2 for two unit 2 cm for two unit 10 cm you can observe the scale along x axis i am going to take 2 unit equal to 2 cm along y axis 2 unit equal to 10 cm this is the scale so now we already know the value of u and v observe here the first one we have taken 12 12 14 16 18 20 totally we have taken 5 trials for 12 cm v value is 53 for 12 cm v value is 53 you can observe this is 50 55 exactly half is 52.5 so one division is equal to 0.5 so i am moving here sixth division that becomes 53 this is the first reading second one 14 centimeter for 14 centimeter v is 32 so this is 30 35 here it is 32.5 we have to move down for one division now it is 32 for third trial 16 centimeter 27 16 here it is 20 25 so 25 here it is 27 means we have to move again three divisions now 18 centimeter 23 18 here it is 20 and 23 then 20 21 in this way we have plotted readings for u versus v so don't use a scale with our free hand let us draw a curve we can get a curve like this then next part is very important now let us take angular bisector i am going to keep protector exactly on the origin now it is exactly 90 degree angular bisector means we have to take half of 90 degree that is 45 degree here i had made a point exactly at 45 degree this is the angular bisector now for this point let us draw a straight line from origin to this point which cuts this curve so now this straight line cuts anywhere on the curve now this cut is at this point let us draw one horizontal line and vertical line this horizontal line distance along y axis which is taken as oa along x axis we can take it as ob we know the formula f equal to oa plus ob divided by 4 now f equal to oa plus ob by 4 oa value is 31.5 you can observe oa along y axis so it is 31.5 ob is along x axis now it is 14.1 so 31.5 plus 14.1 divided by 4 which is equal to 11.4 centimeter focal length of convex lens we got is 11.4 centimeter observe the result the focal length of convex lens by plotting a graph of u versus v is f equal to 11.4 centimeter which is nearly equivalent to rough value or theoretical value that is 10